Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, mine's going really good. It's Tuesday, which is my garbage day. So uh, the garbage men are all done making noise throughout the neighborhood. So hopefully you have a few minutes of peace and quiet. Well, listen, I've had a couple people ask me about why I end my videos like I do. And there's always two statements I make at the end of each video. And they're mainly for unbelievers and part of it's also for a believer. But people want to know why I always do the little part where I disappear in this chair. Well, listen, for the unbelievers, I always say, heaven or hell, you choose. And the reason is, is because I want them to know that their eternal destiny, where they spend eternity, is in their hands. And then I say, because once you take your last breath, it is a done deal. In other words, once you take your last breath, where you're going is set in stone and there's nothing you can do about it. And then I like to disappear to let them know that you have no clue when you're going to die. The day of your death, you may wake up in the morning and it's just another day you head off to work and boom, you get hit by a bus. But that's why. Because I want them to know that they determine their destiny and you never know the day that that choice ends and it's set in stone. And for believers, people, I like to disappear out of this chair to let you guys know that the Lord is coming for us at any minute. We are, we're not living in the last days. We're living in the last of the last of the last days. It's like one second to midnight. The Lord could be here at any minute. But anyway, that's why I do what I do. And then uh, I've also had a couple of people ask me about the little clips I put at the end of the video. And I put those little clips on there just to kind of let you know what I like to do. You know, we're either out riding my bike or canoeing or on my dirt bike. And it just kind of gives you a little insight into my life so we can relate to one another just a little bit better. So listen, I want to talk to you today about denying the flesh. You know, we all hear that all the time. Well, you got to deny your flesh. You know, you got to deny your flesh, live in the spirit. You know, all those cliche things we hear all the time. Deny your flesh. Don't smoke, drink, or chew, and don't hang out with women who do. You know, that kind of thing. Well, in Romans uh, 1, 28 and 29, and Galatians 5, 21 and 23, Paul lays out 17 sins of the flesh. And we're all going to do one or two of those, probably at least once a week, as long as we're in this flesh. Because we still have a sin nature in us. So those things we're going to do. But I want to talk to you about your mindset. About how you think about sinning and not sinning. Jesus tells us in Matthew 16, 24, and 25, he says, Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Well, that's a weird noise. I don't know what kind of truck that was. So anyway, listen, let me get back on point. People, there's no way that we can get out here and not have something happen, not have some kind of noise pollution. Like there, we got an airplane going over now. Sorry about all the noise. So listen, Jesus says, let him deny himself. You know what? That means denying the flesh, but it also means denying yourself from doing what you want to do, especially to somebody else. The things that human beings naturally want to do, the things that you instantaneously just want to do, that's what I want to talk to you about. Jesus goes on to say in Matthew 18, 3 and 4, he says, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children. Well, what does that mean? To become like a little kid. Ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same as the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. What Jesus is telling us is to have a childlike attitude, especially the way you 
deal with other people. Denying the flesh and becoming a little as a little child has to do with your mindset, the way you think and the way you react when your thoughts are not correct. Now this is this is what I want to teach you right here and this is something people that I've had to learn and I try to work on it all the time. Do you ever get mad at somebody and want to instantly go off on them? Right? A relative does something, a friend does something, your neighbor does something, the guy in, the, in a car that cuts you off does something. Somebody does something and instantly you feel that rage coming on and you just absolutely need to go off on that person. How many of you have ever done that? People, I want to do that all the time. So listen, let me show you how to figure out Who's controlling you when that happens? Okay, listen. Anytime you want to go off on somebody and you want to do it right now, that is always the demonic host pushing you. You can always tell when it's a demon. When there's a sense of urgency, you want to do it right now. That means that you're being pushed. You're being pushed by a demon. Come on, let's get this done. Let's, let's go give him a piece of our mind. No one can treat you like that. People, whenever there's a sense of urgency to do it and you're being pushed, that's always demonic control every time. The Holy Spirit, on the other hand, someone, relative, friend does something to offend you, the Holy Spirit, on the other hand, always calms you down. He always calms you. In other words, you're sitting there thinking, well, all right, let's think about this. What's the best way for me to react to this? The Holy Spirit calms you down. Say like that person is doing something to you. Instead of you wanting to go off on them, you're thinking, well, you know what? I, yeah, I, I need to go talk to them. This, this is bugging me. The whole, that's the Holy Spirit talking to you, saying, look, this person's doing something that bothers you. Let's go talk to them. The Holy Spirit leads you. See what I'm saying? He calms you down and He leads you. The demonic entities put you in a big rush, in a big panic, and they push you. People, that's how you tell the difference. Whenever you want to go off on somebody, if, if there's urgency, you just feel the need to just go give them a piece of your mind, that's always a demon pushing you. God, on the other hand, will calm you down and He will lead you. You won't even want to go confront that person. And God will say, no, we need to go talk to them about this. Come on, come on. You see the difference? That's the difference. That is the childlike mentality. That is the denying your flesh. Your flesh wants to go rip their head off, right? That's what your flesh wants to do. Give them a piece of their mind, rip their head off, they deserve it. That's what your flesh wants. But the Spirit is saying, no, calm down. Calm down, let's think about this. Let's, let's think about this and then we'll go talk to him. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. But anyway, listen, whenever someone gets under your skin and you, and you feel that, that rage starting to rage up, if there's a sense of urgency and you're being pushed, it's always a demon. God will calm you down, allow you to think about it, and then lead you that way. That's the difference. Anyway, I hope that made sense. I just want to give you something to think about. Remember, heaven or hell, you choose. And once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.